As PM Narendra Modi implains to Egypt after concluding his first state visit to the US, let's delve into the historic milestone in the diplomatic relations between the two countries. The joint statement released by India and the United States sheds light on their shared vision of being among the closest partners globally. Here are the key initiatives announced spanning from seas to stars. In the technology sector, several key initiatives were announced. First, in strengthening semiconductor supply chains, Micron Technology will invest over $800 million in a new semiconductor assembly and test facility in India. Applied Materials plans to establish a semiconductor center for commercialization and innovation, while LAM Research aims to train 60,000 Indian engineers through their Semiverse solution. Second, India has become the newest partner of the US-led Mineral Security Partnership. Epsilon Carbon Limited will invest 650 million US dollars in a greenfield electric vehicle battery component factory the largest ever Indian investment in the U.S. electric vehicle battery industry. Moving on to the advanced telecommunication, India and U.S. have launched public-private joint task force for developing and deploying Open Radio Access Network or ORAN systems. This collaboration aims to reduce costs, enhance security and improve the resilience of telecommunication networks. Now let us talk about the space. India has signed the Artemis Accords in space exploration, joining 26 other countries committed to peaceful and sustainable cooperation for lunar, Martian and interstellar exploration. Additionally, NASA will provide advanced training to Indian space research organization astronauts with the goal of a joint effort to International Space Station in 2024. The Joint Indo-US Quantum Coordination Mechanism has been established to facilitate joint research on quantum, advanced computing and artificial intelligence. Furthermore, the U.S. National Science Foundation has announced 35 joint research collaboration with Indian Department of Science and Technology. To support the U.S.-India initiative on critical and emerging technology, the U.S.-India Commercial Dialogue will launch an innovation handshake. This initiative aims to connect the startup ecosystem of both countries and foster innovation. Now let's turn our attention to the defense partnership. The highlight of the next generation defense partnership is the co-production of GE's F-414 combat aircraft engines in India. This groundbreaking proposal by General Electric will enable greater US jet engine technology transfer than ever before. India also intends to procure armed MQ-9B Sea Guardian UAVs from General Atomics, enhancing its intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. In a significant move, Larsen and Turbo Shipyard in Kattupalli, Chennai has concluded a master ship repair agreement with the US Navy. This agreement allows US Navy ships to undergo service and repair at Indian shipyards during mid-voyages. Additionally, the Indo-US Defense Acceleration Ecosystem, Indus X, was inaugurated. This network will foster joint innovation in defense technologies and integrate India's private sector defense industry with the US defense sector. Now let's explore the people-centric efforts announced in the joint statement. The State Department will launch a pilot program to adjudicate domestic renewals of certain temporary work visas, including for Indian nationals. This initiative will eliminate the need for eligible individuals to leave the country for visa renewal. It aims to broaden the program to include other eligible categories by 2024. The US and India plan to open new consulates in Bengaluru and Ahmedabad fostering stronger diplomatic ties. India also looks forward to opening its consulate in Seattle later this year and announcing two new consulates in the US. Efforts are also underway to negotiate a cultural property agreement to prevent the illegal trafficking of cultural property from India and enhance cooperation on protection and lawful exchange. Now let's shift our focus to cooperation in the Indo-Pacific region. Here are the key initiatives outlined in the joint statement. The US will join the Indo-Pacific Oceans Initiative a regional initiative initiated by Prime Minister Modi in 2015. This partnership promotes a safe, secure, stable maritime domain and conservation. India will continue participating as an observer in the partner in the Blue Pacific. Additionally, an Indian Ocean Dialogue will be held to facilitate greater regional coordination. Moving on to sustainable development, India and the US are committed to working together to achieve their national climate and energy goals. The two countries are also creating innovative investment platforms to attract international private finances for India's renewable energy, battery storage and emerging green technology products. Finally, let's discuss the initiative in the field of health. To combat cancer and diabetes, the US National Cancer Institute and the Indian Council of Medical Research will collaborate on developing an AI-enabled 
digital pathology platform for cancer diagnosis and prognosis. Additionally, joint research grants will be provided for AI-based automated radiotherapy treatment. A US-India Cancer Dialogue will be hosted to accelerate progress in cancer research. The US and India are united in the fight against global terrorism too. They condemned all forms of terrorism and called for concerted action against UN listed terrorist group. They also urged Pakistan to take immediate action to prevent its territory from being used as a launch pad for terrorist attack. Efforts are also underway to develop a bilateral counter-narcotics framework to disrupt the production and trafficking of illicit drugs. The focus is on combating synthetic drugs, fentanyl and their precursors. And that concludes the key takeaways from the joint statement India and the United States issued. The comprehensive partnership between these two democracies spans technology, defense, people-centric initiatives, cooperation in the Indo-Pacific sustainable development, health and the fight against terrorism and drugs.